financial advice, I'm recording my thoughts about options and specifically selling a put. Before I go deep into this video, I want to clarify two things. Number one is options trading is a zero sum game in my opinion, so I would never do options trading. And secondly, it is very dangerous to do options on margin. So I would never do any options trade activity on margin. Let's look at what selling a put means. The first word is sell, right? So I'm selling something. Obviously, I will collect a premium from the buyer. And put means I'm betting on a price that is lower than the current stock value. In summary, selling put means that I initially collect a premium from a buyer and then I agree to buy 100 shares of a particular stock from the buyer at a particular strike price. And let me give you an example. Let's say I want to buy 100 shares of Amazon stock at $80 each. So 100 shares at $80. So that's about $8,000, right? But currently the stock is at $90. So I have to wait until it gets to 80 and then buy the stock, right? But what I do instead is to look at the sell put options. Now I'm going to show a sell put for Amazon stock. Currently the share price is at about $90.81 and I put the expiration date as January 19th, 2024. That's about 11 months from now, but I could choose any date. I could choose some date three months from now or four months from now, two months from now, few days from now, right? But I choose January 19th, 2024 uh, as the expiration date. Now, if I look at $80 price, it is associated with $6.45. What it means that if I want to sell the put at $80 with an expiry date of January 19, 2024, I get to collect $6.45 per share. So if I sell this put right now, I would get $645 in my account. And to collect this $645, I have agreed to buy 100 shares of Amazon stock at $80 on or before January 19th, 2024. So now I have sold this sell put for Amazon and I collected $645. So now what happens? Let's talk about the reward part and then the risk part. So there is no free lunch here in options. So there is some risk involved, but let's first talk about the reward. The reward is I already collected the $645 and for example, Amazon stock does not hit $80 on or before January 14th of 2024, then I get to keep this $645. So, so this $645 is mine because the strike price was never hit in the next 11 months. And on the contrary, if the stock hits $80 on or before January of 2024, and if the option is exercised, I'm forced to buy 100 shares of Amazon. So I would be forced to buy 100 shares of Amazon, which would cost me about $8,000. But remember, I have collected $645 before, right? And that is still with me. So in a way, I only paid $73.55 US dollars per stock. So that is the reward part. Instead of waiting for the stock to fall to $80, I sell a put option, collect a premium and wait until the expiration date is done. And I would keep the money if it never hits that strike price. And even if it hits the strike price, I could buy the stock at a discount. Now let's talk about the risk part. If the stock falls to about $73.55 and the option is exercised, then I would break even. I would not make any money at that point. But if the stock price falls below $73.55, I would lose a lot of money, right? Because let's say if it gets to $70 and a stock option was exercised, then I would lose $3.55 per share. And if it falls to $60, I would lose $13.55 per share because $73.55 is my break even price. And if the stock falls below that price, I would start losing money. 
in my case, if I could buy the stock at $73.55 per stock, it would still give me a very good return long term. So, so I would not worry even if the stock falls below $73.55 in the short term because I would buy the stock at a price of $73.55 and then I would wait a few more years, right? So eventually I would make profit. So this is the example with uh, Amazon. And one last thing that I would want to say, it's probably on the risk side that when you sell a put, the money it takes to buy 100 shares of that particular stock will be hold. For example, if I sell a put of Amazon and collect $645, then $8,000 from my account would be reserved. So overall, this is selling put for Amazon. And now let me move on to another example. This is Nubank. I recently did a high risk, high reward video in which I picked Nu as one of the high risk, high reward play. In that video, I said I'm looking at a 20 to 25 dollar share price by 2027, and I thought five dollars was a good price, right? Let's say I want to buy this stock at 4.5 dollars, and instead of waiting for it to get there, I would sell a put. So in case of Nu, as you can see on my screen, the current stock price is about 4.77. And when you sell a put with expiry date of January 2024, that's about 11 months from now, the price is about 0.74 dollars for a strike price of 4.5. So in other words, if I sell this put, I would collect $74 immediately so let me show that uh, on a screen if i want to buy 100 shares of nu at 4.5 dollars each it would cost me about 450 dollars but when i sell a put as you can recall from the screenshot i would get 74 dollars immediately deposited to my account and the 450 dollars which is enough to buy 100 shares of nu would be kept aside by Robinhood. Now let's say if it gets to $4.5 before January 2024 and someone exercises the option, then I have to buy 100 shares of NU at $4.5 each. So that would be about $450, but remember I collected $74, right? So in a way, I'm only paying 3.76 US dollars per stock. So obviously, the reward part is, if it never hits $4.5 before the end of January 2024, I get to keep this $74. And even if someone exercises the option at $4.5, I would still make money because my average price would be only $3.76 per share. And on the risk side, if the stock falls below 3.76, I would start to lose money. But since I already decided that this is a good high risk, high reward play, I wouldn't worry about the stock price in the short term. I would buy this stock at 3.76 USD if the option is exercised. And then I would wait four to five years and see what my gain would be. So overall, whenever I decide to buy a stock at a certain price, and if the stock is not there yet, I sell puts. So I can collect the premium. Yes, the money would get, uh, money would be put aside by the broker, but if it gets exercised, I would still get a much better price than what I have anticipated to pay when I decided to buy this. So this is the video about selling puts, and I wouldn't do this often. I only do it for specific stocks where I do not see too much downside risk. So let me know your thoughts on selling puts. Thank you so much for watching.